Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in orange and we are learning to draw straight lines from given equations. In our earlier video, we learnt how to go from an equation to a table and then how to plot that table and the coordinates it gives to a graph. Today what we're aiming to do is we're aiming to go straight from the equation to the graph, skipping that table part of the process. In our earlier video we also learned about the equation y equals mx plus c and we learned how to create a rule so let's say this rule became y equals 3x minus 2 that describes the relationship between two variables now this rule that we've created is also a set of instructions to help us graph Given that to demonstrate the skill, I'm going to copy and paste in a set of axes. And from there, we're going to run through a couple examples to demonstrate how this y equals mx plus c, or how this set of instructions, can help us graph a relationship between two variables. So let's start off with the graph that we were looking at down the bottom. So y equals 3x minus 2. So the first step I want us to start off with is, is that minus 2. So that minus 2 relates to the y axis and it tells us at what point on the y axis does our line intercept. So we're going to draw a dot at negative 2 because that minus 2 tells us there is an y intercept at negative 2. We now want to look at the gradient, which is 3. My suggestion is we always turn that gradient into a fraction, which is 3 over 1. And that tells us about the rise over run. So from our starting point, we rise 3. So we go 1, 2, 3. And we run 1. So that would be our next point of our graph. We then need to do the same again. We're going to rise through. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, and we're going to run 1. So that rise relates to how much it goes up or down, and the run relates to how much we move to the right. Once you've done that, we've got three points. Let's connect the points. And that there would be our line or our visual representation of the equation 3 y equals 3x minus 2. So let's have a go at another example. We use the pink pen. So let's say we're using the equation y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. So the first starting point is the plus 1. That tells us where to start on the y axis. So we're going to be starting at positive 1. That negative 2, let's convert it to a fraction. So that's negative 2 over 1. And that tells us the rise over run. So now that our rise is a negative number, it's telling us it's rising by negative 2, which is the same as saying it is falling. So from our start point at 1, we're going to go down to 1, 2, and we're going to go across 1. We're then going to go rise negative 2 or fall to 1, 2, and we're going to run 1. And the same thing again, we're going to go down 2 and we're going to run 1. And before we know it, we've drawn four points that relate to our graph. And we can now connect those dots with a line. Hopefully in your books you're doing this with a ruler and you're doing a far better job than what I'm doing. So that there would be the visual representation of negative 2x 
minus 1. So let's get rid of all this. Uh, let's change to the blue pen. Let's look at another example. Let's say our relationship is now y is equal to 1 third of x minus 4. So let's see what this does. So the first point again is we want to start off with the plus c at the end, or the number within our equation. So that negative 4 tells us we're starting at negative 4 on the y-axis. So I've drawn a blue dot there. And the fraction, or the number in front of the x, that tells us the rise over run. So what this tells us is it rises 1, and it actually runs 3 this time. 1, 2, 3. And we don't have any more room to work backwards that way, but let's go back the other way. So that means we would have had to rise 1, so let's go down 1, and we would have had to run 3. 1, 2, 3. And like before, we've got three points. We can join those together to create our graph. And we'll get rid of our workings. We can see our graph a bit better. But that there would be the visual representation of one third of x minus 4. We can see that's a lot flatter because that gradient's actually a fraction. And let's have a look at one more example. We'll do this one in oh, what color? that yellowy color there. Oh, we've actually got a yellow one already. Let's do that in green. And we're going to do it over here. So our equation, let's say it's y is equal to, let's do a negative fraction, negative 1 half of x plus 3. So let's look at our equation, that plus 3, that tells us where to start on the y-axis, so we're starting at plus 3. So I've drawn that green dot. The negative 1 half, that tells us about the rise over run. So we are rising negative 1, which means we're falling 1, and then we are running 2. So we are falling 1 and running 2. We are falling 1 and running 2. Two. And we've got our three points there. We can connect that, those with a line. So hopefully you're using a ruler again. And that would be the visual representation of y equals negative one half of x minus three. So let's get rid of these lines to help us see our graphs a bit better. So what we've done in this video is we've learned how to draw a straight line from a given equation. Our equation y equals mx plus c is a set of instructions to help graph an equation. And we're using two parts. We're using the plus 3 or the plus c part to start off at the y-axis. And we're then following our rise over run instructions to create a few more points, probably two more points. And then we're going to use those points to construct or create our line. Hopefully you found this video, now let's get into drawing some graphs.